Hey, Nick Gillespie with Go Green Electrically. And today I wanna to show those of you who don't know what electricity is. If you haven't studied electrical theory, you wanna pay attention to this video because I'm gonna show you, just as a layman who's not an electrical engineer, what electricity is. So what we have here is my conductor, which is a hose, and then I have water or water pressure that is voltage and current will be when the water passes through the hose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you I have the valve open on the water and it's going to flow. Right now I have it kinked off which is actually considered resistance right now. There's a potential of voltage right here and then there's a big resistor right here and I have no current flow. No water is throwing, flowing through the hose. I open up the resistance and water flows through the hose. This is electricity actually flowing. It's flowing through the hose, which is current. The amount of water that is flowing is actually current, and the pressure that's behind it is actually voltage. Now I'm going to cut it off again once more, and now there is no current flow. There's voltage, there's potential, but there's no current or water flowing through the hose. That's because the resistance is greater than potential. If I had a ton of potential right now, a huge water supply, high pressure, it would actually overcome the resistance of my hand holding this and kinking this hose. So hopefully this helped. This is the best way I can explain electricity. One thing you wanna know about electricity is that it flows from a potential to ground. And with that being said, if you see a bird on a wire and you don't understand why they're not getting electrocuted it's because electricity can't pass through the bird to ground electricity has to pass through something to get to ground or it has to pass to a different potential and so when you see a bird on a wire it's actually the same potential and so if i were to touch this this water right here and i'm standing on ground it would go through me which though water is electricity, it would go through me to ground, and that's how you could get electrocuted. Now let's just say I was insulated from ground. I was standing on a big rubber tire, and it was dry, and I was totally insulated from ground. I actually could grab onto electricity, depending on how many volts. I could grab onto 110, for example, and not get electrocuted. Later in a video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually insulate yourself and grab on to 110. I really don't want you to practice that, but I'm going to show you theoretically that it is possible, and I'll show you the bird on the wire effect actually in my home by grabbing onto 110 volts. And again, Nick Gillespie with Gold Green Electrically, you have pressure, which is voltage, you have the hose, which is the conductor, and then you have water flow, which is the current. I hope this helped you understand basic electricity. Thank you.